If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard the term anti-stall. As an example, in the 2022 Italian Grand Prix, McLaren driver Lando Norris had a really slow race start because his car went into anti-stall. In this video, we will look at what is anti-stall and how it works in Formula One. Let's get started. Before looking at anti-stall, let's understand what is stalling. Whether it's a racing car or a road car, a car's engine will stall or cut out when the engine's revs get too low or if there's a sudden increase in the engine load. The most common way for a driver to stall is to let the clutch up too fast. There are other reasons a car may stall, including mechanical failure. If a road vehicle stalls, it can simply be restarted, but stalling an F1 car is a disaster. There's no onboard starter motor, which means that if a driver stalls the car, there's no way to get the engine going again. For this reason, F1 cars have an anti-stall system. The anti-stall system on an F1 car triggers the onboard computer to automatically engage the clutch of the car when the revs drop too low. This prevents the engine from stalling and gives the driver a chance to keep the engine running. This is very useful at the race start or after a car spins. Anti-stall is a program that has been installed into the onboard ECU or electronic control unit of each Formula One car, and the system is always running when the engine is on. If the ECU detects that the revs are dropping too low, then the anti-stall system will immediately kick in and engage the clutch. The driver has to manually engage the clutch again to deactivate it. Formula One cars have semi-automatic gearboxes and have only two pedals, a throttle on the right foot and a brake on the left foot. Formula One cars do have a clutch and it's located in the back of the steering wheel. F1 cars only use their clutch in order to pull away from a standing start or put their car into reverse which means that the clutch is only used at the start of the race and during pitch stops, or if the driver has to reverse after a spin. As you can see, anti-stall is a rare occurrence. It only happens when a driver fails to launch properly or spins off the track. F1 cars have extremely sensitive throttles and do not have traction control. This means that there is a careful balance that drivers need to strike in order to get the perfect start when the Grand Prix gets underway. If the driver uses too much throttle, he could cause wheel spin, which could damage the rear tires and cause a slow start. If the driver uses too little throttle, the car might not produce enough power to get going. This usually results in the anti-stall system being triggered. Hope this video helped you learn about anti-stall in Formula One. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.